what is up guys welcome or welcome back to the channel it is insane we are at 11 months one more month to go we're pretty much here already to be honest with you uh but stay tuned for the update super quick video i'm not gonna go over too much but just wanted to give you an update of what my hair is doing at the 11 months move bitch get out my fucking way it's black history month almost there man and the process hasn't changed except for i'm conditioning my hair two to three times a week instead of once a week i'm still just deep conditioning and washing it every week but i'm conditioning more often because my hair is longer now so it dries up real real, real, real quick um just a quick test if you ever want to see if your hair is dry or not get like a strand of hair twist it around in your your fingers and it should slip just like that. So that's when you know your hair is like moisturized and it's like good. If you have like friction where it's like, it's not sliding, it's not gliding as much as it's like, as it should, that means your hair is dry. You need to put some conditioner. Routine hasn't changed. I'm still taking finesse, right? I'm every night. I did add additional supplements to my routine. So I'm taking D3, which is because I'm vitamin D deficiency. And actually this actually helps with hair growth. I didn't know that vitamin D helps with hair growth, but almost every vitamin does if it's healthy for your body it's going to be healthy for your hair growth the main thing people always talk about when it comes to like hair growth is like you're not balding or like alopecia and stuff like that is diet so anytime you're helping your body out you're definitely helping your hair grow and also i got maca root if you know you know but i'm using this for something totally different but it also helps with hair growth which i didn't know but one of those things where it's a vitamin or it's a supplement anytime it helps your body it's going to help your hair grow so those are two additional things that i added to my routine also quick note i've been wearing a bonnet every night so to protect my hair um but every time i wake up my bonnet is like all the way up here like every time i wake up my bonnet is like literally smack on my hairline and if you see here like i have a little bit of thinning on my hairline that i don't believe was there before um i feel like the hairs have been like pushed back or falling out um but i think that's due to the bonnet it might be due to other things so i'm not gonna wear the bonnet anymore i got silk pillowcases so i'm not gonna test it <laughs> anymore i'm not gonna try to just wear a bonnet i'm just gonna have my hair just free balling on the pillow so um yeah that's just a quick note something i noticed right on the hairline is that i have little gaps of thin spots which could have been there the whole time but since my bond is always pushed up at my hairline i don't want to risk it and like pull any more hairs out that the bond could have pulled out all right so here's the hair i need a haircut chill out on me uh still a bit thinnage in that crown area but again that's why i'm going to get a or thinking about getting a second hair transplant for a little bit of more density in that area and a little bit more density in the crown uh just a quick view of the hair it looks good now like i have nothing complaining about if y'all know the uh left side was always tripping but left side it definitely came through right side always been good so uh again i had that little line here on the hairline where it's little gaps in between but it's it's really fine like i it's not, again, it's not noticeable, so I don't really worry about it. I said I'm not gonna get braids till after my one year mark, just to show that progression from balding to hair transplant to where my hair is after the 12 months. From now until March, it's not gonna be like a dramatic shift. I think hair grows like a half an inch every month or something like that. I'll show it on here. But uh, once I get the braids in, that will determine if I'm gonna get a second hair transplant. I already know I'm gonna be able to rock the afro. Definitely gonna be able to rock like a shortcut and maybe even waves. But if the braids is just not enough hair here to, to grip or whatever goes on with the density, I'm because I cannot take another 10K plus hit. It's too early from last year and trying to do another one this year. It's just, that can't run that back twice. So definitely gonna take that flight. I am just terrified that they are gonna murder my donor. I've seen too many videos of people going to these clinics and saying, hey, I want this amount of grass and the clinic is coming back like, no, you need this amount of grass plus. And the person's like, no, I do not want that. And then they get out of surgery and they get exactly what the clinic was trying to give them with 5,000 grass plus, I cannot. My, to be honest, like my donor is like the best result from this surgery, like from this hair transplant, the donor looks untouched. It looks literally natural. My whole head honestly just looks natural. Like they did a great job. And do I really want to risk my donor for wait a thousand grass maybe? Like I just need a little bit here and a little bit on the crown. Like it's it's this back and forth that I have. Like do I really need it? And then yes, I do really want it. And I don't know. So. 
if I do go back and get a second hair transplant, I'm gonna record it all and I'm gonna make sure that I show you guys how I'm gonna do my research and pick the best clinic for me. Cause I know there's like, I say it all the time, like do your research, do your research, do your research and have nothing to really back that up. So if I do go in to get the second hair transplant, I would definitely be um, making a video and going over the step-by-step -step of how I chose this clinic. And hopefully <laughs> I get a good result from that clinic as well. But that aside, when I do get braided, I will get two strand twists, which is gonna be definitely lightweight and not as tension heavy as something like cornrows. Just to try it out first. I don't wanna do too much pulling to my scalp just yet because I don't know how it's gonna look. So I want to get something really lightweight to see how it's going to be and then I'll move on from that process to see if I want to do a second hair transplant or not. Next month I'm going to be going to Bosley because they had set up a follow-up meeting for the one year. So hopefully they got pictures and things that I don't have. I know they did take some pictures there but hopefully they got pictures of my grabs because I really want to see that so I can show people that it really really is important that you go to a certain clinic that knows how to do black people hair because our hair coils or curls underneath the skin, just like it curls out, it curls underneath. So you wanna ha make sure you have a technician that knows how to do black hair, cause you can't just go in straight and extract the grabs. You're gonna break the grabs, you're gonna damage the grabs. So you wanna have somebody that's like technically advanced in doing like a, that hook method or whatever it is to actually extract grabs for African-American hair or coily hair, because it just depends. Like three to four C, is when your hair starts to have that curl underneath the scalp but that is it for this video y'all thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a great 2024 i'm so happy to be on this journey with y'all man so many people have reached out to me talking about how they're so excited to get a hair transplant they're getting it next week or they're three months in and they're trying to learn some more things or learn some more tips about it i'm learning from them just as much as they're learning from me so it's just been an amazing experience it's really just been an experience of a lifetime and i'm really grateful for that but yeah man thank you for watching really appreciate each and every one of y'all the likes the comments the subscribers spread the knowledge as much as you can get that hair transplant i'll see y'all in the next one peace